you see yourself fitting in this year? Yeah. Right? Uh, you're now kind of a veteran, you know, at this point. How does uh, it feel different right now than, than maybe last year, years past? Um, I don't think it's any different, honestly. Um, coming from my standpoint, I'm just trying to help out the young guys, prepare other people, be more of a leader. Um, keep guys in line. I mean, I guess there's more of a leadership role than anything, but uh, playing-wise, I don't think it's any different. You lost Kyle and Ryan. What's it like without those two? Uh, they're, they're pretty funny guys. So, you know, we got to keep it upbeat and keep everything. They made everything a good time last year, and there's just too many funny things that happened. So we got to keep those going. Hey, you know, Kyle specifically, I'm going to move this other side. Kyle specifically, first round pick. How much, um, how much I guess, like inspiration does that give you when you see what he did going in the first round coming from his system? I mean, we didn't. We don't know what to expect when that kind of stuff happens. So when we saw that, that was a tremendous thing for him, and I was so happy for him just because he's a guy that, you know, came in and with not a lot of experience and played, started in four games or whatever it was, and just made a tremendous impact on our lives and the football program itself. So, super proud of him. Who fills in for him, Ryan? Um, we have no idea yet. Uh, we're just trying to put together the best offensive line to dominate this year, dominate the Pac-12, and have a good time. The new building, you guys have moved in. What's the coolest part? I mean, our new meeting room is pretty sweet. It's pretty functional. I mean, compared to what we used to live, we used to live in a little box for eight hours of the day. So, I mean, we're having a good time now. My favorite part is probably the new cafeteria. I got a bunch of fresh fruit and like pretty much everything you need to to be a big man. Eating your enemies. Is that, right? kind of a, is that a new slogan for you guys this year? Uh, I don't think so. I don't really like beaver. Or, uh, or duck, so I stick with the chicken. And we don't have any chickens in the league, so we'll stick with that. Maybe the chicken of you. <laughs> right? Too. Tournament of chickens. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mark being, being the head coach now, how have things changed? Things haven't changed at all. It's more of a family atmosphere, I feel like now. Less of a. Uh, of a in and out, you know, you come before I felt like it was kind of more you just come here, get your job done and leave. Now it's more of a family atmosphere, you know, everybody's on the same page as it was before. So other than that, nothing's really changed. Is that that comes from Mark? Yeah, I mean just him being a great a great family man and um, more of an understanding aspect of us. I think that he's just really a great coach. So does it make you feel more comfortable? Do you like that more? Than yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, he's a tremendous coach, and we're going to play extremely hard for him and do everything we can in and off the field for him just because the way he treats us as, as human beings. So. When you look at the running game, you guys, uh, D'Anthony, if he stays kind of his, his multi-faceted role, then for the first time in years, he's not kind of an established guy coming in right. to beat the back. Offense, if you guys, I mean, can anybody kind of fill in and do it? Anybody can play any any position that they play. They can fill in at any time. I mean, we're our offense is interchangeable, just as any other any like guys can be beat out of their position at any time. So I mean, having other guys that can do different things. D'Anthony's obviously a speed guy, and when we need a power back, we we'll throw a Byron in there or whoever. So. I think it'll work out. We haven't seen a lot of Byron, but I think people expect a lot out of him. Yeah. Um, what in him gives you confidence that he can be the next Michael? I think just himself having high expectations of the things that he does in his game plan. I mean, he's a tremendous kid, and he's going to get the job done, so we have no worries about that. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. Can I grab